So long chain alkanes, such as those being transported by train to the power station to be combusted, have a lower value than shorter or branched alkanes used in gasoline, for example in cars. So how can I turn the long chains into short chains? Well, cracking turns the long chains of low value into alkanes with shorter chains with a higher value and at least one alkene in IB. So let me give you a couple of examples. So the cracking of C13H28. The syllabus says that you have to use heat, but the books say you also need to use a zeolite catalyst. Okay, but whatever we're doing, I'm going to make an alkane of my choice and an alkene of my choice. Okay, so I've chosen to make octane, which may or may not be branched in this case. So a type of octane, an item of octane, and pentene. Now, as long as those all add up, left and the right, you've got a balanced equation and it's acceptable. So let's make another one. Now, since it's at least one alkene, I'm going to make two this time. As long as it all adds up, we're good. Yep, I've got 13 carbons and 28 hydrogens, and there's at least one alkene and an alkane. Lovely. And so by changing the heat and the zeolite composition, you can have whatever cracking you want. So for the final case, I made heptane, ethene, and that looks like a butene. All right, so a typical question, C12H26 is cracked to form octane and two alkenes. Show an equation. All righty then. There'll almost certainly be a point for the conditions, so definitely put heat. And why not put zeolite as well? Okay, octane is CnH2n plus 2, where n is 8. Oh, so what are those alkenes then? I've got four carbons and I've got eight hydrogens left, but it uh, can't be that. I need two of them. No, nope, that doesn't exist either. On to the molecular model. And don't forget, your teacher's got to let you play with these models. It's one of the 10 must-do experiments in IB. Alrighty, so it looks like the two alkenes are actually the same. They're both ethene, C2H4. Cracking in action. The egg won't spin because I didn't boil it and I didn't feel like a boiled egg. But now I do. Yeah. Anyway, so that's two ethenes. And now when you add up the reactants and add up the products, they're equal, it's an equation. Fantastic. Thank you.